Dad, I need money to attend university and get a business degree. You're too stupid to go to university. Just go and find a job as a truck driver or work in a restaurant. I passed high school, didn't I? I want to make something out of myself, just like Max. Ha ha! You're not like Max. You are dumb and lazy. You play video games all day. I am learning about strategy, Dad. I am not as dumb as you think. Hey there, I'm Jake, and let me share the roller coaster of growing up with my younger brother, Max. Our story starts in a regular home where Max was the golden younger child, always spoiled by my parents. They considered him to be more intelligent, and my parents figured he would be getting the best job and would go places. Myself? I grew up a normal kid and liked to go out with my pals and play video games. I did okay in school and wanted to go on to university and take business courses just like my brother. But my parents had other ideas. Dad, I need money to attend university and get a business degree. You're too stupid to go to university. Just go and find a job as a truck driver or work in a restaurant. I passed high school, didn't I? I want to make something out of myself, just like Max. Ha ha! You're not like Max. You are dumb and lazy. You play video games all day. I am learning about strategy, Dad. I am not as dumb as you think. Yes, you are. Long story short, I finished high school and got a job working as a data entry clerk for a large bank. I still stayed with my mom and dad, who asked me to pay them rent to help pay for Max's university program. And then Max went to attend a business school in the United States that was expensive. Mom and dad were struggling with the fees, so I had to take on a second job to help out with all the bills. By night, I worked as an Uber driver, and by the time I went home, I was dead tired. Still, I found an online course where I decided to learn how to build an app. For four years, I worked 80 hours a week and had very little social life because I was also studying on my own time. Finally, it was time for Max to graduate, and we had a big party. Max also told us that he was engaged to get married and was looking forward to a big wedding. Congrats on bringing home the nice degree. It's been four long years. Someone's got to do it. Since I am the intelligent one in this family, I have to do all the hard work and study to earn my degree. It wasn't easy. I worked hard too. Mom and dad told me to work two jobs to help pay for your education. Why not? Our family cannot get ahead without me. I told you I am the superior brainy one in this family. Small minds deserve to work in small jobs. I don't think so. I only did this as a favor to you. You owe me big time. You had all the time to study and get good marks. Put a lid on it, Jake. By the way, thanks for helping me with the wedding. I thought that when Max graduated, I would be able to work only one job. But no. Mom and Dad told me to continue with the second job to help pay for Max's wedding. I obeyed my parents because I was still living at home. I continued to work for many months, and one day, I was so tired at work that I fell asleep at my desk. What are you doing, Jake? Sorry, I must have dozed off. Are you on your break? No, sorry, I'm not. Sorry, Jake. I have to report this to HR and you may be suspended or terminated. I was sick to my stomach when I heard this from my manager. She marched me to HR and told the manager there that I was sleeping on the job. They were not happy, and next thing you know, they decided to lay me off. As I drove away, it was raining hard. Before I knew it, some young newbie driver hit my car, damaged beyond repair. I told my dad that I lost both jobs, and he was very disappointed in me. Dad was so mad, he even decided to kick me out. He told me that I owed them for this month's rent. I had no money, and with no place to go, I went to the library. At the library, I met my old buddy, Barry, from high school. He and I used to play video games. He was kind to me, and allowed me to stay at his place. He also helped me get a job working in the restaurant as a waiter. One day, Max walked into hey, the you. restaurant with Hi, his Max. new bride. You ruined my wedding. Thanks to you, I couldn't go to Cancun and celebrate. Mom and Dad said there was only enough for a smaller wedding celebration at the Vista Hotel in the city. Yes, I lost my job and my car. Loser! I can't rely on my brother. It would be nice if my brother could buy me a nice wedding present. I gave you everything because I worked two jobs to help pay for your school and the wedding. Like what? How about a BMW? How about you get out of here? You can't talk to me like that? I am the smarter one. You are the dumb one. Working manual jobs. 
you should be happy that I am talking to you right now. Get out before I have you thrown out. Fortunately, the manager of the restaurant saw what went on, and he didn't like Max's attitude towards me. He walked Max to the door, but before he could send him off, Max decked him, and my manager lay on the ground motionless. The cops came, but somehow Max explained that he was the victim, and they let him walk away. I call my mom sometimes and she tells me that Max is doing great. He is the chief financial officer of a medium-sized company. They are very proud of him. She also told me something else, that dad doesn't want her to talk to me anymore. I was so upset that I hung up the phone, crying. Over time, I continued taking my online course and learned how to make several apps. Last week, I got a call from the manager of my old job at the bank. Hello? Jake, how are you? I understand that we let you go by mistake. You were doing a great job as a data entry clerk. You were fast and never made any mistakes. For five years, you always came to work on time, and you also pointed out some areas where we could save money. You made one mistake and we are willing to forgive that. Will you come back? Yes, in a heartbeat. I will never sleep on the job again. When can I start? Tomorrow? I think you would be great as an office manager. Would this amount be enough for you? I looked at the salary that she offered me, and it was double the salary I had received before. Of course, I took the job, and I also called my mom and dad to give them the good news. I talked to my mom, but my dad was still mad at me because of Max's wedding issue, and refused to talk to me. Although I was sad that my dad didn't want to talk to me anymore, I went to work as usual. At night, I worked on the app and decided to create something, just to help customers manage their money. I showed it to my manager, and she loved it. Instead of just handing it to them, I told them that I would sell it to them for $250,000 because I worked on the app during my own time. They accepted, and I was so happy. My app made the front page of a business story in the newspaper which caused my dad to call me up the next day. Jake, my son, I missed you. There was something in his voice though that felt off. It just seemed like he was hiding something that was bothering him. What's wrong, dad? You seem upset. This isn't easy to say, but Max is a gambler and he used all his money to spend on casinos in Las Vegas. He lost big and he also borrowed from me. I am not able to pay for my mortgage. Sorry, dad, I can't help you. You didn't help me all these years when I needed you most. You left me when I had nothing. I worked night and day to help pay for Max's schooling and wedding. You always insulted me and said I was stupid. No thanks, I can't help you. Please, son, I am your dad. I refused to budge, and finally, my dad went on his way. I heard Max owed some loan sharks millions of dollars, and he is on the run from a criminal organization. The mafia has a price on his head because of the money that he owes. My dad ended up living in a homeless shelter. He fought with another resident, and someone stabbed him in the back while he was sleeping. He never recovered from the stab wounds. Because my mom was always nice to me, I allowed her to live with me in a fancy townhouse. It goes to show that even though I wasn't the favorite son, I finished first. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe and leave a comment down below saying I subscribed and we will try our best to reply to your comment.